when you when you take out one sense, you focus on your other senses more. Did yeah. what 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 did you realize by painting blindfolded? That um that you can so that just taught me that you can use your feelings and you can use your you can use your subconscious. You know, you can turn off your brain and do it. You don't have to you don't have to look at for inspiration from anywhere. You can just go in. You can go in and you can go into your memories and you can go into your trauma a lot of the time for, for me. And you can dig all that up and get that onto a camp, you know, and it's like it's not it's not exactly going to be the time when I was fucking off my tits at the electric picnic and you know I'm staring down the barrel of a week's recovery. It's not exactly that. But you can but that can come up. You know, and then you can use that, and that's what the blindfold taught me. Uh, yeah. to just let subcon- let subconscious take over, and I do. That's the way I do it to this day because it's the only way. It's the only way that I I know I will never get bored of, but also at the same time represents me. It represents everything about me. You know, just loose and you know chaotic and energetic and colorful and, and wild and spontaneous. That's all me, and it's all on every painting. So that's what the blindfold did for me. And thanks for the jays as I did it early, because if I was still doing them cats and them trees, I'd have fucking blown my brains out because I, there's nothing in that. There's nothing in that for me. Uh, you know. I'm gonna so, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that next time I'm driving down the I-95. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go blindfolded. And then when I get pulled yeah. over, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the officer I was driving with my feelings. Yeah, there you go. Then I'm letting the subconscious yeah. take over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. But seriously, seriously, it does feel as a creative, as a creative limitation. It does sound interesting. Now that I'm now that I'm hearing you say that, I'm imagining mm. what might happen if I recorded a podcast blindfolded or recorded it in pitch black because it wouldn't be exactly the same. If I was recording this podcast with my eyes closed, I would be seeing the light from the window you know i'm, I'm closing my eyes right now yeah. for people list for people listening but I, I see the light from the window and then that <clears> starts <throat> to create shapes and then your imagination takes yeah. over and then if i was in the pitch black that can get even more intense at times so yeah maybe yeah, i'll try yeah. that just like record a solo podcast blindfolded and see what happens yeah i, I was just thinking you should do you know what you could do um blind blindfolded and put those like uh or you could you could stick he- something in your ears. Just stick something noise cancelling in your ears. Turn off all the lights. Turn everything off and just turn the voice record on your phone and just turn it upside down or lie down and put it on your chest and yeah. just talk and just talk and just see what happens. See what comes out. Because I'm telling you, once you once you free your free your brain and free your mind and free your judgment of all that, I'm telling you, yeah. you're, you're tapping into you're tapping into your truth. Like not not to be fucking sappy and wishy washy about it, but you fucking are that. That's what I did, and it's scary and it's frightening. Like a lot of those uh, blindfolded things that I did frightened the shit on me because I was like, holy fuck! Like I'm after digging up a memory there that I, I like I didn't even know I I did or I I would ever thought I'd be able to tap into. And once you start doing that on the reg, then. Then you start tapping into Jesus. I should be doing this all the time. What am I doing here? Mm. And then, then you start, then you start clicking with it, and it all starts falling into place. And I'm telling you, like people will, people will probably listen to this or think of this. Uh, what is he talking about? But it's the fucking, it is the truth. When you free, get rid of all the noise, the outside. And it's like meditation and all that crap. You get rid of all the noise and get rid of everything that's guiding you, and just fucking go. No talk, no nothing. Go with whatever it is you you think you're supposed to do or what you're doing, and you you'll get there. You'll you'll be guided to the, in the, on the on the right path. And by Jesus, yeah. I got there within a, within a matter of days. I got there, and I fucking I haven't looked back. Yeah. So it's worth that's, trying for everyone. You know that's that's, that's okay. really cool. So so for you, you wouldn't just see the imagery behind your eyes, but you would actually see memories. It, the blindfolding would spark memories, and you would tap into those. It, in in what I had created, it would yeah. Mm. So I would the blindfold would go on for about a minute, and I would just make marks and scratches, and then I would look at it, and then, not not a lot of the time it, it was just like I might have seen a chicken or maybe just a cloud formation or something. But sometimes yeah. I I actually see myself. I see myself in the back of an ambulance, or face mm. planted into my garden 
you know, I, that was brought up and that shit like that that happened to me that I, t- I tried to bury, you know, I was fucking scary, like, you know, really scary. But it was amazing therapy. Sure, it was therapy. Like. Yeah. And by the end, yeah. oh, like, and then there's nothing can stop you then when you have all that up and you, when you accept all that and, and kind of, you know, be with yourself when, when you're in that moment and you're, you go back to that time. Oh, by the end, it's powerful stuff. 